Hello everyone, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, the switcher device we use to help um, get all of our cameras coordinated crashed on us. So I apologize for that, but we are back and I am over here coloring, adding another layer here to um, the next part. I'm using the wax-based or the non-water soluble Windsor Newton pencils for this part so that um, when I lay on the next layer the water soluble these this color won't move. Uh, I wanted to use the turquoisey color because it's so pretty. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing here. So hopefully this will give everybody a minute to get back on with us. I apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, this is the second time the switcher thing has crashed on me today. So we'll have to go do some research, Steve, and find out what's going on. Maybe there's an update for the software or something to prevent this from happening. So what I just did I'm going to zoom down. I used the turquoise color pencil, so the non-water soluble one, and I burnished in all of this layer here to get a really nice deep turquoise row. And I think it looks really pretty. And I love that the burnishing in does give a really vivid color. And it was pretty easy. I didn't have to push really hard. So this is a really nice pencil for that. Worked really good. And like I said, look how little we're using. Now I am finally getting down that we can um, try sharpening these pencils and see how well they sharpen. So I'm glad that we're coming to that point finally. And now we can grab the same pencil in the water soluble. Because um, I'm really having fun with this going back and forth and trying both things here. So I want to lay down really loosely because that's kind of the point here. I could go with the pencil and do this lightly here too if I wanted to, but I'm trying this as a shortcut. So I'm not being careful. Is everybody coming back? Yeah. Good. So Stan had a great idea for you. She said you could remember the watercolor for W for white and oh. W for water. <gasps> you just saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. Now that's dramatic too. Yeah, that is dramatic too. <laughs> You've saved my life. My coloring life. Okay. We had uh, a few people. Graceland mentioned uh, she entered the giveaway. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, we haven't even mentioned the giveaway. We're giving away two sets of those gorgeous Sparkle Pop pens. Um, oh, Steve's going to grab them so I can show them off. Yeah. Okay, I'm activating these with just a little bit of water. And because I used the wax-based pencil here, it's not moving at all. Okay, oh, nice. here, Steve, you show while I activate. Ta-da! <laughs> Tell them why you liked those pencils. Um, you know, I just really like metallic. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I like our metallic paper. I like your metallic. Anything you have that's metallic, I just think is You even like really it cool. when I put metallic on my eyelids. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, you do. <laughs> so we're giving uh, a set of these, two sets of these away. So two lucky people yeah. will get these. Plus and, some uh, coloring pages to yeah. color. I think, uh, yeah, I put the link in the description of the video. So you can find the link there if you haven't entered already. Several different ways to, to enter. Lots of ways to win. So Yeah. And if you have, if they have any trouble with the contest, should they just email you? Um, I've had a couple comments on the video saying they've had a little bit of an issue with the, and I wonder if it's just because it's their first time in that contest. Well, and I know that it can be a little confusing. Um, like for instance, if you've already watched the video, you can just scrub through it 
just grab that little scrubber handle and pull it all the way to the end and then oh, the continue okay. button pops up you can do that um, when you visit like our Pinterest page or our Facebook page all you do is you click it it opens that page and then it enables the little continue button so I think sometimes that gets a little confusing the way that works okay one of these days uh, Joshua left a nice comment he says just saying to Steve dude you're amazing I'm a 52 year old male raised in the south and it took me a minute to even admit that I colored but seeing <laughs> you here supporting your lady and being so involved oh Steve yeah, thanks is, Joshua yeah I'm glad to have another guy here too because Steve loves all this stuff <laughs> he gets just as excited well maybe not Maybe not just as excited, <laughs> but it's getting close. Yeah, well, it's fun, you know, and I just, I, I love supporting you. I love seeing the, the joy it brings you. And, yeah. you know, it's it's done a lot for for us, so yeah. it's great. I like, too, that um, this is, like, plays on your skills and talents, yeah. too, like with your, um, your website designing and your, your knowledge with, like, print and how to design a page really good like he does all the covers of our coloring books and like it's really cool how um we yeah, can build kinda, on each other's skills and that's what's been so neat about it is like you said we've been able to you know i, I have a background in graphic design and uh multimedia and web and so yeah i can do the website we can do the, our own graphic design um do the uh, video of course, and I've taught you how to do video editing, which you're getting really good at. So Yeah, he's taught me a ton, and he's so patient. And I think that's one, another, um, i got to brag about you again. He's so patient, because my brain, I'm on some medicines to help with my chronic migraines, and the medicine works great, but it slows my brain processes way down. Oh. And so I can still learn and do lots of stuff, but... It takes him explaining things like 10 times, maybe 20 times. <laughs> At least <laughs> it that feels much, that way. It feels that way to me. And he is so patient. And so when he is dealing with um, customer service and that kind of thing, he is so patient and does so well. So it makes him really good at that, at the customer service side, too. And oh, thanks. So, yeah, I had All to right. brag about you. Back to coloring. Back to coloring. <laughs> Okay, I'm using the color pencil, just one of the brighter blue colors, and adding some pops of color. And look how smooth it goes on and bright. These are quite effortless for coloring. I love that I can use them back and forth and know that the colors are going to work. It's so fun. Okay. This is looking good. I want to darken this up just a wee bit more here. Those stripes, or maybe I even missed those ones. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. Darken that up just a bit. Okay, this, this little guy is looking good. We need to have Steve color again, don't you guys think? I was thinking he should color with... Um, was it the alcohol markers? Alcohol markers next. That's my vote. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to go in with this deep midnight blue now. This is the watercolor pencil. Um, I'd like to see this wing in the deep blue. And I'm going to lay quite a bit down because I think this wing would be really pretty in the deep color and then I want to try coming back on top of it with one of the lighter color pencils see if that works so lay down a dark wash with a light pencil on top so far we've only done the opposite I think I don't know I'm losing track I'm having so much fun I'm losing track so much fun a blue owl. Everybody needs a blue owl in their life. That's the quote of the night, Steve. Everyone needs a blue owl. <laughs> Everyone in their needs life. a blue owl. Lots of nice comments from people. So Aw, thank thanks you. you guys. So much fun. And I I'm just been so it's been so fun to watch our numbers go up this um, last week with 
um, our subscribers going up. I still have that goal of hitting the 100,000 subscribers and doing a $1,000 giveaway. Do you remember my goal of doing that? Do you remember me talking about that, Steve? Yeah. I still want to do that. I kind of got um, derailed with that goal. I was hoping to push a little harder this summer, but um, life got in the way. But I still want to do that. I want to do a big gift of a thousand dollars worth of art supplies to somebody when we hit uh, 100,000 subscribers. Okay, I'm laying down a ton of pigment here. Jennifer asked, how is the paper holding up? Um, so far so good. It's, oh, it's pilling a little bit right here where I've been laying quite a bit of water down. The belly is fine. We'll see what it does when I hit water here. I haven't treated it at all. I have my um, trusty Daniel Smith transparent watercolor ground all handy. I thought for sure I'd feel like I need to treat it with that. I need to do a separate YouTube video on that. I'll zoom in a little bit more again. Maybe move to the right just a little. Thank you. I'm definitely, I bet I'm laying down way too much pigment here, but that's okay. I really want his tail to be really dark blue so we can play with coming over it with lighter stuff. Stuff. I don't know what the stuff is yet. If we should go over it with... I think I'm going to go over it with color pencil. All right. Tammy thinks I should go with gel pens this time or next time I oh, color. Oh, well, you have been pretty excited about these metallic... Yeah, that's true. It's out of frame. Sorry. Did I get in too tight? No, mm. I just jumped over here. I realized I put way more pencil down here than I did over here. So I'm just trying to balance it out. So when I hit it with water, we get something of a even result. Okay. All right. Let's get the wet brush going here. And we're starting to get low on time here, so if there's something specific someone wants to see before we sign off, okay. Let's, oh, it's so pretty. I love watching all those strokes, those messy strokes just wash away, literally wash yeah, away. That's really neat. Maybe to the right a little. Okay. My workspace is very messy today. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun tools to try. Yeah. Well, I think overall my recommendation is these are pretty neat. I like having 24 identical color pencils to the 24 water pencils. I think there's going to be some really fun um, partnering we can do mixed media type effects between the two sets. Um, I wish we had more information from Windsor and Newton about the tools so I could have passed that on to you. But is it really important to know the core size and content and the exact um, light fast rating? Well, probably not. Life goes on without knowing the core size of a pencil, right? So... Um, I wish I could make it more readily available to all of you with an Amazon link and all of that. So that's maybe a downer. So obviously, you know, using the the coupon at Michael's where you were able to get them for a dollar a pencil, I think was a great deal. Would you would you pay forty dollars for the twenty four set each? Forty dollars uh, each. I'd have a hard time spending that kind of money on it. The watercolor pencils, though, these are pretty nice. The standard pencils, I don't know. How much are, like, polychromos for 24 polychromos? I'd have to look it up. Expensive. <laughs> is it the same? Is it in the same realm? I always... Uh, 
that's where we need our board. Let's see, 24 piece of polychromos is $31. See, it would have been with, if we didn't have the coupons involved, it's cheaper to buy a set of polychromos than these. And I would, at that point, recommend you buy the polychromos because you would have the ability to purchase additional pencils and build your set and replace pencils, which at this point we can't replace individual pencils f with these pencils with this set. Maybe in the future we will. I don't know. We don't even have a way to learn that at this point. Does Fabricast still make a watercolor pencil? Yes, I think so. Fabricast still makes everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me show you what you can do. Um, I don't know if it's... It, my eyes are starting to blur, so I can't tell if you can see that, but can you see... Steve, can you see where I made a mistake here and my brush went out of the line? Um, yeah. Okay, my eyes are officially blurred now. This is my old lady vision problem. <laughs> um, but let me show you how you can fix that. I'm going to get my brush really wet with clean water. Um, and make sure it's clean water. <laughs> Don't go in with more pigment, right? Really clean. And um, take all that water out and go right next to it and start lifting that blue away. And it just will sort of erase it um, and because we're not on watercolor paper this technique is a little problematic but it will work to an extent and it's partially what we're doing is lifting out the pigment and partially what we're doing is diluting the pigment down and away but you can lessen your mistake so if you get a little excited and your pigment starts getting away from you and you really wanted that white crisp line, this is one way to help lift that away. If you're on watercolor paper, lifting mistakes is a ton easier because of that sizing I was telling you about, that magical word. Everybody repeat after me. Sizing. <laughs> That's your magical word for today. Um, if your paper has sizing, you can lift mistakes like that really easily for the most part. Uh, Albrecht Durr are the fabric castle. Yeah, that's the ones. Colors. Yep. Yeah. Kim said they're $35. Thank you. So, um, do you need to run off to Michael's and buy these? Maybe you do, especially if you have a coupon. I really like having the 24 um, watercolor pencils with the 24 color pencils. I think that's really cool. I, I, like I said, this mixed media idea with identical colors in each set, I think there's some real fun potential there. Um, at full price, is it worth it? I don't think so. I think I would steer you towards um, the, the polychromo line, probably. But with a coupon, I think it's worth it. Um, they're pretty cool. They are high quality, high pigmented, just like it's saying. It's not like some brands that say they are something and then you get them home and you're like, this is not artist quality and not high pigmented. These really are high quality, high pigmented pencils. So that's cool. Of course, you would expect that of the Winsor Newton brand name. So I like it. Um, we were going to sharpen one and see how it sharpens. <clears throat> While you're doing that, Libby says that she was pretty nervous about using watercolor pencils. So now I'm not quite so scared. She Good. really enjoyed the lesson. Yeah, remember, embrace the fact that it's watercolor. Go watch some YouTubers that do watercolor. Watch how they just embrace the way the pigment and the water moves across the paper. They, they sort of direct it, but they don't control it. Like when you're using um, a marker or something, you really control every edge and, and every stroke. With watercolor, you just sort of guide the pigment right and it's so beautiful and and organic the way it moves right so kind of get in that mood when you go to use watercolor pencils remember you're using that kind of medium and if your paper isn't behaving um, you may need to treat your paper like how I'm not using watercolor paper here. It would have helped if I had pre-treated the paper with something like this Daniel Smith transparent watercolor ground. Maybe Steve can find an Amazon link to this for them. Would you do that for me? Daniel Smith. 
This is my new favorite way to treat the paper, to pre-treat it so that you can use a little bit more water on your paper without being so concerned about the paper falling apart on you. It's basically like a gesso, only it's, um, I think, even better. So <laughs> Steve will find if, it for um, you. Yeah, I don't know if uh, YouTube will allow the link on there, but oh, can try. he'll try. If not, maybe he can link it can some also other way. So go search for it too. Yeah. Okay. Let's try sharpening it. I want to sharpen this one specifically because I'm fearing that it's a little off-centered, so it's a good one for us to test. And this is one of the color pencils, not the water-soluble one, if you're wondering. And this is my Alvin Brass Bullet. Um, one of my favorite sharpeners. It's a really good one. It's um, got one of those beautiful German blades that I love that are super sharp. This is a really good little hand sharpener if you're looking for a good hand sharpener. So, and remember you hold the pencil still and you move the sharpener around the pencil. That is the proper technique. Okay. And it's sharpening up beautifully. And yeah, it is a little off center, but I think it will be all right. I don't think it's going to affect the coloring too much, but you can see what I mean about it being off center. When I twirl the pencil, how much wood is exposed on this side and how much core is exposed on that side. So I'll have to be a little careful. There are ways to protect that core. For instance, if I'm burnishing or pushing hard and coloring with this pencil, if I hold the pencil this way and push down on the paper this way, then that wood will support the core. But if I were doing my burnishing and pushing this way, then there's less um, wood supporting and protecting that core. It's just kind of logical but if you pay attention to the way you're holding your pencil um, in situations like this, you'll actually prevent breakage if it is a little off-centered. So, okay, so some are a little off-centered. I wish that they were marked a little better as far as which ones are water-soluble and which ones aren't. But other than that, I think these are winners, especially if you use a coupon. <laughs> so... Head off to your Michaels if you are excited about them like I am. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to color more with these on another day. But tomorrow I'm going back to filming the rest of a two-part video. I've already put in, I think, three and a half hours of filming for the first part of this video. <laughs> It's not going to be that long. It's mostly no, going to be No, because sped it's going to be sped up, but it has <laughs> taken me three and a half hours to film the first part, and I think I've got at least that many more hours. And it'll wanna... all be condensed down into like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, the, the probably seven hours of filming condensed to like two minutes. So, but it's going to be an awesome video. I can't wait for you guys yeah, to see this video. It's some real good art science. Mm -hmm. So it'll be really good, but oh man, it's, it, I just, it's torture. <laughs> You're only halfway done. <laughs> and I think that's really why my eyes are really double vision well, right When you now. were smelling alcohol markers for three and a half hours. <laughs> I just gave that's it away. That's the second time you've given things away in this life of it. <laughs> oh dear. That's all right. But yeah, you there's didn't no give way to come back away. from that. You didn't give it all away. Yeah. They just now know that what it has to do with. Yeah. Yep. So I need to go get some fresh air and yep. not for whatever it was you were coloring. <laughs> I don't know with. what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks again, everybody, for all the new subscriptions and for all the love and support. And make sure you give us a like and a, a subscri subscribe. I'm tired. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So thanks for joining us today. We'll see you guys next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time over on Facebook. And then 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time here on our YouTube channel. So thanks for the Good fun. Good night, everybody. We'll see you. Oh, have a wonderful, colorful, blissful, blissful. day. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>